this is my Twitch channel. This channel had been my main source of entertainment, or at least entertaining people who would actually watch me in 2020 and 2021, especially since there was a big old pandemic that was going on. And I spent a lot of time on here because I had seen a lot of different content creators move over to Twitch because that was a whole other way for them to bring out some content. And it was a way that I thought that I could possibly grow because I actually was. I wanted to keep doing stuff with Twitch. I had friends that were also doing Twitch. And I always thought that it was a really cool experience. Everybody wanted to do it. It was always something that was a lot bigger than YouTube. And hopefully within the next 24 hours, as of the recording of this video, um, this Twitch channel will probably be gone. As you could tell, I have 287 followers. Every time that I live stream on here, I usually lose followers. And I'll admit that. I, I'm not very entertaining, and I think also my issue that I've had with it is that I don't feel the joy of streaming over here on this platform like I did at one point. I did make a video where I was banned from the platform just because I was kind of just playing around with it, but the more I look at this channel, the more I, I just don't like it. I, I don't like anything about Twitch. And, of course, there's plenty of reasons why that people would be very upset with Twitch, whether it be because of changes in ad revenue, whether it be changes with just what the platform is doing, um, exclusivity, um, you know, pe people wanting to favor more of the so-called titty streamers compared to the rest of the streamers. I think a lot of people have gotten passes on doing certain things that they shouldn't have got passes on, at least on platforms such as YouTube, they would not have gotten a pass on because it is something that it, it's very, very shady to do that kind of thing. And everybody would be in an uproar over a platform doing it. Like people have been in an uproar on Twitch. People have been very upset with how Twitch has been acting, especially as of late, because Twitch is wanting to pretty much take away a lot of revenue from partners and affiliates or just not even give affiliates any time of day with actually getting the revenue that a lot of affiliates actually do deserve on here. I keep looking at this platform and I'm like, you know, I, I wish that I could have done more with it just because that I had the opportunity to take advantage of being on Twitch. I was a Twitch affiliate. Um, I was able to get gifted subs. I was able to run advertisements on my channel. I was able to do all sorts of different things on here that I never thought I would have any of the credentials to do because I always thought that, you know, just I, I'm streaming and making YouTube videos just because why not? Maybe one day I'll get big. Maybe one day people will actually recognize me. And that's kind of how I'm still feeling even with these tools because as I had said in the beginning that number keeps going down and it's mainly because I think that this channel also gets the random bots and I think that that's part of the reason why it goes down is because Twitch finds those bots and it just disappears but that that's not even like my main thing with it it's just it Every time I look at this channel, it just makes me so upset that I was part of a platform that was always so shady with its creators, always played favorites with everybody, always, you know, did some stupid things that everybody just kept bitching about. And I kept listening to it, I kept getting pissed off, and I kept going back. And I think it was mostly because of a lack of self-control. Because I thought that since I was an affiliate, maybe at some point someone would come by and view the stream, hang out, have a good time, and I could still get money out of it. And I think that that actually clouded my thoughts with making some content. Of course, at some point, I would definitely, absolutely, 100% love to be able to make money off the content that I make. 
But with how Twitch is pushing ads and making the experience of watching live streams terrible, I do not feel comfortable with doing any more streaming, whether I be an affiliate or just be streaming for free over there. I do not feel comfortable with doing streams on that kind of a platform. And that is why I contacted Twitch and told them that I would like to have it shut off because I will be hopefully getting this channel deleted and hopefully it will never see the day again. Of course, there's a lot of people you can even see on my followed side. I do follow quite a bit of people because I thought their streams were interesting at the time or, you know, they were just content creators that I wanted to at least support in some way, shape or form. But the more I look at it, I'm like, do I really watch a lot of these people? I don't really watch XQC. It's mainly just because it was in the recommended. I don't watch Summit 1G. I just did that because everybody else was following him. Like everybody I knew anyway was following him. And I just, you know, I was like, yeah, you know, I'll go ahead and support him. What kind of fucking support is it giving Summit 1G for me to follow him whenever he's got 22,000 people following him already or watching him at least? XQC, he's got 64,000 to 150,000 people in his stream all the damn time. He is making buku dollars. What in the hell is my follow going to do for him? I don't even watch any of these people. Like I said, I just mostly follow because I'm like, hey, I like the content. I want to try and support you. Here's a follow. But it's not doing anything. There's no reason for me to even have anything to do with this platform. I don't watch anything on this platform. I don't really engage on this platform unless I thought that maybe I could do a live stream over here and maybe people would come by. But I'm just not happy with it. One other thing that I also got really uncomfortable with was having everybody move over to Twitch whenever I was starting to stream over there more frequently because whenever I was telling everybody to move over there, I started thinking about it a little bit, at least near the beginning of whenever I was first telling everybody to move. And that was, would I want to move over here if I was watching my favorite content creator? And so I tested that for a little bit. I always am a big fan of Penguin Zero. And if you guys have not watched Penguin Zero or Moist Critical, whichever way you want to call them, then I would definitely recommend you watch them. And I decided to give that a try over here. And whenever I came over here and I was watching Moist Critical, of course, you know, I would donate uh, or like do the subbing and all that other stuff. And of course, he, he was like, hey, thank you for it. But I didn't feel any kind of fulfillment with being over here and engaging with the content that he would be recording for his channel. It's it, it just does not seem fun to me at all like I thought it would. And that's something that was always going through my head where it's like, okay, am I actually having fun with this? And then whenever Twitch started changing things and started making it harder for all the streamers over here and they're basically killing their platform, I'm like, yeah, there's just no fun at all. It's it's not something that I really enjoy doing. Whenever I'm over here on YouTube, I actually feel like that I can engage with people a lot more. I wanted to try and get back over there on Twitch because I felt like that I was just bombarding this channel with stupid bullshit, and I thought that it was just too much over here. But honestly, you guys are very, very supportive, and you guys like to come over to the streams and engage and do things over here compared to me doing stuff over on Twitch. I have just been so blindsided by it because I'm like, I'm an affiliate. Why can't I just do this because I have the... I have the tools available here. Why can't I just do this? But then I realized it's not fun for me. Why would it be fun for you guys? And so now that I look on it and I look back at getting to be an affiliate and getting to do something that I never thought I would actually get to, I've actually realized that this channel, not necessarily the channel, but the website itself is just toxic as hell and I do not like a single bit of it and as much as I will miss having this kind of a presence on Twitch and it and as much as I'll miss having the subs the tools 
everything that I was able to get over here because, of course, everybody's going to want to make money off the content that they make. I do not feel comfortable with being over here and doing things on Twitch. I will continue to keep doing things over here on YouTube. I think that if I can at least focus over here and not be so blindsided on Twitch, I think I will be a little bit more mentally sane. I think that whenever I first started on YouTube and I just stuck to YouTube, it was a lot better off for me. Everybody wants to move to different platforms to grow in different places. People are growing on TikTok. People are growing on YouTube. People are growing on Instagram and Twitter and this and that. And I think that whenever I started moving to different platforms and I started with this one, I think that that's whenever I started losing the fun out of doing the recordings I was doing. And I think I want to try and get that back. So take one good hard look at this. One good hard look. Because hopefully by the time that this video comes out after it's all edited and said and done, this Twitch channel will not exist anymore. In a way, I'll miss it. But I'm happy to be home.